Patrolling Police Cars by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Patrolling almost anywhere, in any neighborhood, police cars help police keep all things steady, safe and good. To get to an emergency, police cars sometimes need to be there very quickly, which means they have to speed. To warn the other traffic that they're going very fast, they're flashing lights and siren signal, quickly, let me pass. For giving them instructions and to tell them where to go, the station contacts officers by two-way radio. Some cars have computers that they can use the internet to access all the information that they need to get. Police cars carry radars to catch us if we're speeding. They point them at the car to get its speed shown as a reading. When a car is going too fast, police can make it stop. The car's getting cautioned by a frowning traffic cop. Police dogs use their sense of smell to seek a person out. This unit's used to carry clever dogs like this about. When officers catch criminals or suspects that they track, they take them to the station locked safely in the back. Some cars have sheets of glass or wire that firmly stand between the front seats and the back seats to make a safety screen. Police cars must be sturdy, like these two that have made an obstacle to block the road, a two-car barricade. Here is a tough push bumper. When it is in place, it helps police push heavy things and clear away a space. And here is a flexi spotlight. It shines a beam of light. It's great for lighting up a scene. It's powerful and bright. Patrol cars have all kinds of things they need to take around. Neatly packed inside the boot. That's where they'll be found. They even hold first aid kits. So if you're hurt or bleeding, an officer can give you the attention you'll be needing. So when you see police cars as they cruise around, remember they're there for you to keep you safe and sound.